Hey folks, it's Pat here. Welcome back. Um, got a chapter 12 question. Actually got a couple questions on chapter 12. And so um, the one that I want you to do first is this one right here, which is F distribution. And so chapter 12, you're going to learn about ANOVA, which is um, a technique, which is basically a multi-way t-test. We'll explain that more in, in future videos. But in order to do these tests, you need to calculate what's known as the F statistic. And the F statistic falls on the F distribution, which looks different than the normal standard distribution because basically it usually points up and it's got this long skinny tail way over that way. And so we have to use a different statistic on this, okay? And so this problem here is just getting you familiar with the Alex calculator to calculate the F statistic at a critical value, all right? so. Um, so, like for example, use the calculator provided to solve the following problems. Consider an F distribution with 42 numerator degrees of freedom and 18 denominator degrees of freedom. There are two types of degrees of freedom um, here that we're going to use, especially when we get to ANOVA. That'll make a little bit more sense in the next couple of videos. But all I want you to do here is compute the probability of finding an F statistic that's less than or equal to 0 0.92. Okay, round your answer to at least three decimal places. So to do this top problem, and this top problem is almost always the same. There's one different type one. We'll see if we can find that in a minute. And so in this one, you're going to calculate the probability. In this one, you're going to actually calculate a critical value. And just like before, where we used P, um, Z, and P, and T, now we're going to use this guy over here, which is P. Uh, probability of uh, finding an F statistic greater than what, okay? And so this one right here, notice that this actually points towards the 92, and so we're gonna actually have to do one minus on this one. Um, if it points the other way, you can just punch it in directly, but F.92 uh, with 42 numerator degrees of freedom and 18 denominator degrees of freedom, and shazam, there you go. All right, and so you just punch that in, and this is actually the F statistic, uh, 3.9, or no, no, this is the probability of finding a value of F less than .92, all right? And so just make sure you round these correctly, which I was about to not do there, <laughs> all right? But it's, it's really that easy. So if, you, if you're familiar with using this guy and this guy, this guy is no different right here, all right? Um, and then the critical value, we're gonna just use this button right here. Okay, um, so and all you have to do, and since this one's always going to look up to the right um, of, of whatever the value is, the probability of F to the right, okay, so all you have to do is punch this one in directly. So 0 0.05 with 12 numerator and 37 denominator degrees of freedom. There we go, and that's our value, 2.025. <laughs> Go ahead and check that. <clears throat> and there we go. All right. So again, don't start it with the decimal point. Blah, blah, blah. All right. So there are, there's one different type of problem in here that I want to show you. And it's this guy right here. Got lucky there. So sometimes you don't always get these. Um, so these, it's asking for a F value between two probabilities. Okay. Um, and so on, or between two values, the probability of finding an F value between these two cutoffs right here. And so to do these, um, you just subtract this first one from the second one. And you do that by punching in the calculator like this. And this is uh, dot seven seven with 39 and 15, 39 den uh, numerator and 30 and 15 denominator. And then just subtract the next one. And so since we're looking from the right to the left, Take that first one, subtract the second one, you get the difference between the two, all right? And so the second one is uh, F with uh, 1.39 with 39 and 15. There we go. And so that's gonna be 0 0.501. And then the crit value on is exactly the same as we did before. So just punch it in directly, dot 025 with 28 and 37 there you go so giving us an f value of 1.993 <laughs> all right check that and there we go piece of cake all right so again this problem the f distribution is just getting you used to using the calculator on this and so that's of course to look up the probability or to look up a critical value which is going to be really important in some of the problems in the remainder of this chapter so if you have any questions please let me know um, otherwise we'll see you in the next video take care now Bye.